Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to how to import the iClone 3D scene to Unreal Engine 4. So first what should you do? You need to have the Unreal Live link and also the character creator and iClone auto setup. Get these two first. For the first step, I'm not going into details because previously I already created a tutorial to show you how to set up the iClone Unreal Live link. This is a full tutorial. If you still need this, you can scroll down, go to the video description and click into this link. Then in this tutorial, this is really very detailed about how to set up the iClone Unreal Live link. And you can send your 3D assets from iClone to Unreal Engine for any time. So for today's tutorial, what I'm going to show you is I assume you already have the iClone Unreal Live link. Now I'm going to create a scene. As demo, I will just make it as simple as possible. So in your iClone, I click the prop. I want to create a scene first. First I create a uh, I create a plane. Create surface create a plane. Now next since this is already a plane, I'm going to create some 3D blocks. For example, I create a ball here. And I also create a box here. And maybe I want some other shapes. Maybe I want another big one. Alright, so this consider as a synth. Now, I will, I will create a new Unreal Engine 4.26 project and I want to send this game scene, maybe here is a building, a pyramid building, something like this. I want to make it like this, alright, and make it bigger. Maybe later I want the main avatar to climb, climb this up. So I'll need the collisions and what other props that I can send it to. Maybe I send some rock as well. Ha, huh, this one. All right. Now consider I already created a scene. What should I do the next? Create an Unreal Engine project. I select the game as demo. I will just choose a third person and. For the name, I will just put tutorial, sorry. The name, I put tutorial, icon scene, create a project. This is Unreal Engine 4, editor. So I will go through step by step, how to export the whole scene from the icon and import into Unreal Engine through the live link. Before you start, make sure you, you already set up. Make sure you already set up the iClone Unreal Live link. If you still don't know how to set up, you check the previous tutorial, this link. All right. So now this new project already opens. Start from the beginning. It is fresh. It is new. So what should I do? I need to copy Copy the Unreal Life link plug in into this project. So you just need to right click, show in Explorer. Remember the project name is tutorial icon scene. This is my project name. I click my project link. This folder is very important. Now I already have the Unreal Life link. 
in the icon I click plug in and real life link and I will choose find the live link plugin folder then it shows this icon live link plugin for Unreal 4.26 I double click so now right click the plugin and copy back to the folder tutorial icon scenes right click and paste here next close this one still very important Click plug in again, go to the character creator and icon auto setup, click browse file, fail to locate, the auto setup is not, not installed properly maybe. So it's okay, it is already installed, I check again, where is the auto setup? By the way, I, I check manually, I right click the window explorer, click the file explorer, the auto setup should be ready last time. So I will check my C program file, Reallusion share plugin. So now the auto setup is not yet installed. Now I'm going to install. This is my icon account that already logged in, I will google search it, search it out CC Auto Setup for Unreal Engine 4 I go and download for free should be somewhere here, download of course I will download the latest version download I forget to install this after I reinstall everything, my windows. So now I will install. Finish downloaded. It should be in my download folder. Download folder. Under program. So this one. The auto setup. Double click and install. So you can see, this is the destination folder. Where are you going to install the plugin next? After finish install, it automatic pop out already. This is the location. C program file resolution, share plugin, auto setup, Unreal. So auto setup for 4.26. A double click. And I copy everything, right click, copy, and back to my Unreal Engine project directory that is under Documents Unreal Project. This is my project name just now. I right click and paste here. Now, it should be okay. Now I should close this project and open again. Tutorial I clone scene Unreal Engine project I double click and open again It should be able to automatic install the Unreal Live Link plugins for the iClone Alright, now you can see CC setup and iClone Live Link already here And back to your iClone And you check your scene You can see the first one is the plane. All are separated props. So we want to make everything, the whole scene become one prop. I will I'm going to attach on the plane. So I hold the I click here and hold the control to select everything. And then click here, attach to pick parent 
I will pick the plane. So now it becomes one giant size prop now. This is a one single prop. What should I do the next? Rename the planes because this one you want the scenes. So I double click and I will name it scene 01. Now next click the plug in Unreal Life link, click the Unreal Life link. And then what are you going to transfer? You untick everything first. Then what you want to transfer? It is the scene 01. Click transfer file. Now it should be able to transfer to your Unreal Engine 4. It will automatically pop out the, the cmd.exe here. And now I can wait in my Unreal Engine 4. I click the content. And now you can see it automatically open a new folder that is RL content, Realusion content. Now it, it already go into this folder. You, you can see under the contents, RL contents, this is scene 01. Scene 01, you have this, the skeletons. You can just ignore this. And you has you, you have a skeleton mesh. Next, I will open a new level. Click file, new level. I choose the default and don't save. Okay, and save selected is better. Now this is a new map. If I try to play, this is just a very small map that I can put anything that I want. Okay like this if if you put this skeleton mesh the collision will have problems so next step what are you going to do is you choose the pink color skeleton mesh double click then next step what you should do is make static mesh then the name you name it properly as scene 01 or any of the name that you want it will save under the meshes this is scene 01 I click OK then can close already click the contents it automatically open another folder for you that is meshes and your scene is here but you still have one more step to do. Double click the scene. And then drag down. Drag down until you can see the collision. The collision co complexity, you should choose use complex collisions, the last one. Then click save and then close now it is ready this scene is ready in your unreal engine game just need to pull it out see how big is that okay something like this now i'm going to try i play now this one it become a game scene already now you can see this is a game scene all the collision are perfect How about this one? Yes, all the collisions are perfect. This is the correct way to export the scene from the iClone and import into your Unreal Engine 4. And this is really amazing. You can use all this free material to create your game. Your, to create your game scenes by using the iClone, it is easier. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell to acti activate the notifications so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. 
see you in my next video enjoy and happy animation and game developing see you